Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear with Warhammer Electric. Hope you guys are having a great day. So today what we are going to be talking about is successful habits and what those habits can do for us and what we can try to, you know, progress in in our journey through anything. So, you know, habits are one of those things that we uh, we grow through with time and you know they're either good or bad depending on the situation however you know um, creating habits is uh, well it's hard right like you know or stopping habits is hard you know either one um, it takes a certain amount of time and a certain amount of you know uh, times over and over and over again for you to get that habit stuck in your head so you know in today's podcast that's what we're going to be discussing is creating those habits um, that will ultimately be successful for your life on the field and off the field so we'll just kind of dive right into it and kind of go from there and see what happens you know so i hope you guys are digging the stash because I am so the one thing I kind of asked myself um, you know and I got it from a you know I'm a big reader so I read all the time but one of these books I read a while back I believe it is called the one thing but you know on that note the one thing you know I ask myself all the time is when I get to work or when I get home is what is the one thing I can do right now that will make the rest of this stuff easy or unnecessary so that's like the very first question I ask myself in the day is like what are the tasks that are the biggest and most um, difficult to accomplish and I try to start with those so the rest of my day ultimately becomes easier because I've already knocked out the hardest part of the day um, early in the morning or the hardest part of the situation so before like I'll give you an example so like at work you know I kind of already have it mapped out you know because I've created this habit but like when I was just getting started I would literally write down every single one of my tasks that I had to like get accomplished today whatever that was like if I need to estimate this one thing and then get this other thing but this other guy needs this quote or specs in for this other project whatever case I made a big old list of boom 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 you know what are all these tasks and then I visually looked at it obviously and decided right then and there you know all right this is my highest priority task and if I get this one task done I can move on to the next one and I've integrated this into my everyday life and pretty much every situation I'd be put in and like it kind of stops the multitasking portion of your day which you know I mean catching trying to catch two rabbits right like you can either catch one rabbit and be successful or you can try to catch two rabbits you know try is a keyword there you're never gonna catch two rabbits you know so the whole thing is basically working your mind to, to stop trying to multitask and take little parts little pieces little like little projects in your head and break those up one by one um, and then f focusing or honing in on that one singular project task whatever it is at hand complete it completely a hundred percent and then move on to the very next task 
complete that 110%. And I get in this world where you got a cell phone that's very distracting or whatever. There's kids around if you work at home or, um, you know, people are coming in and out of your office or people are coming in and out of your workspace, you know, and I get all that. I really do. It is... You know, I'm I'm not like unrealistic in the sense that like, yes, things are gonna happen. Things are gonna like pop up where you're gonna have to like ultimately stop what you're doing and go handle another project. But if your mindset is like, I need to complete this task first, whatever it takes. So even if I get distracted, you know, by you know X, Y, and Z over here, then. You know, after I'm done being distracted, I come right back here and complete this task. So, you know, it is 100% done, you know, and you can say wholeheartedly with every ounce of your body that that is complete and that you can now move on to the next thing, you know, whatever that may be. So that would be like one thing that like I would suggest is to get a list of all your stuff, write it down, and then, you know, until like you just start mentally doing it, but at the very beginning, what you're going to want to do is just write that list down, you know, it doesn't have to be in like any type of order, and then you circle, boom, what is the most important task of today? the hardest task, the most difficult task, the biggest task, whatever that is, and get that one thing done. And then move on to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Because it never ends. It's, it's like one of those deals, you know, it's an endless flood of stuff to do. But, you know, systematically training your brain to accomplish the hardest thing first is what you're trying to accomplish you know so every day you know the hardest task is done when your mind's fresh everything's good to go you have the most ability to be focused and get that handled so like you know how I tune this into my everyday life is that I go to the like you know I had a hard time going to the gym after work you know I was getting lazy with it and whatever so I kind of built this like at home version of this list and um, going to the gym was you know like how do I fit it in with family time um, you know because when I come home like the family's mine right like um, I, you know, obviously I work construction, so, like, I'm out the door early in the morning. I don't get to see the kids, so, you know, family time is crucial. So, when do I have a chance to go to the gym that doesn't impact that, you know? Because that's important, and it's on a time crunch. So, I only get a certain amount of hours with my children. And, you know, that is the most important that they know that their father is here doing their best for them and that no matter how tired I am I can fucking rock and roll and we can go from there you know but they'll always know that I'm there and I'm in their life so that is to me the most important thing you know making sure my wife is happy that you know with the time that we spend together you know it's quality time so i couldn't go to the gym after work anymore so that was out of the question essentially i couldn't do it couldn't make it happen so at that point you know what am i to do um you know i could stop going to the gym you know that'd be like the freaking ridiculous way out but you know i could do it just stop going to the gym and you know try to eat healthy and you know base it off of that but no it's not we're gonna work you know so my health is the you know second most important thing home wise that I need to do 
So I gotta figure out a way to fit it in, even if I don't have a lot of time. So what does that mean for me? It means I have to wake up before work, you know, when everyone's sleeping and go to the gym and do my workouts and, you know, feel fresh in the morning, you know, and it is what it is. So I knock it out first thing in the morning, you know, beat the sun, get over there, start working out, go to work, come home, try to be, you know, when I'm home, I'm home situation because you in this life you could bring it home bring anything home it's you know it's hard not to sometimes because you know work nowadays is just ultimately more demanding than it's ever been in my opinion um for me specifically you know I, I don't know how everyone else is and how they feel about work but for me it's very demanding, you know, that I handle these certain certain situations, you know, in a timely manner. So I try not to bring it home, but sometimes it comes home. So it is what it is, but it works, you know. So, you know, prioritizing certain things in your life, you know, become that is ultimately building those habits you know and then once you build those habits it becomes more of like a routine than anything you know it's just like like for me it's like I start the day off you know I wake up hydrate myself go to the gym get ready for work go to work pick out the toughest tasks to do knock that out go to the next one knock those out come back home spend time with my family cook and clean and do all the other crap that you know is minuscule like you know but still regardless of how minuscule it is it needs to get completed you know get those things complete get the kids you know ready to rock for bed hit the hay and do it all over again you know and just building that general routine of like that will get you you know a successful template for your life you know so you know that's kind of my my whole spiel there so one last thing that I would like to leave you and I found the book by the way it's called the one thing a uh, surprisingly simple truth behind extraordinary results by Gary Keller and Jay Papasin. You know, this is a great book to read. So that was the book I was referring to at the very beginning of the video. Um, in this particular book, there is a quote that I'm going to leave you with. And it is, uh, people do not decide their futures, they decide their habits and their habits decide their futures quote unquote by F M Anderson you know I truly believe that you know that your habits do decide who you become you know and what you're about and what people think about you so building strong habits builds a strong person builds a strong career brings a successful life in general so you know what kind of habits will you be building for yourself and mind you the one question thing is like the what's the one thing that can make my life easier if i do it right now can be implied in all facets of your life your relationships your work your life outside of work you know your social life your everything you know church life whatever everything could be um, driven by that one question you know what is the one thing I can do right now that will be the most impactful you know and ultimately make the rest of the day or the rest of this experience easier for me so I hope you guys like my little video I very much appreciate everyone who listens or watches this 
on YouTube or listen to it as a podcast. I really, really appreciate it. You know, you guys mean a lot to me, and, you know, I just couldn't be more thankful. Um, you know, there's a, a gentleman today that, uh, you know, that said some really, really nice things and, you know, totally made my day. Um, I'm sure he'll know who he is when he hears this because it was a uh, very cool. There's the kiddo just cruising in and out of here. Um, but, you know, I just, I, I really appreciate it, guys. You know, so many kind things have been said. And, um, you know, I'll continue to do this because, you know, it's making at least one person uh, happy. And that's enough for me, in my opinion. So, like, it could be one or a million people. I couldn't care less you know I impacted one person you know it, uh, yeah it's really nice so I really appreciate it guys thank you guys so much my name is John Spear I am with the arc flash podcast slash Warhammer um, you know I'll catch you guys later be safe out there you know and I will be signing off so you guys have a great day thank you